Hello Aquarius, this is your reading for the 15th through the 16th. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Then we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance here. Mm -hmm. And engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Let's see what messages Tarot has for you guys to tie this message in for you guys. What's going on for Aquarius? Please show me what's going on for Aquarius. The Emperor standing in your power. Standing in your power. I feel like a lot of you are maybe, or the individual that you are thinking about, is probably being a little mm, headstrong at this time, to put it lightly. Um, being a little stubborn around some issues. Fiery energy here, Aries. Okay. Thinking about things from the past. Hmm. I feel like, you know, somebody's kind of stuck here. They're stuck on something that happened in the past. Um, but, you know, there's a pull for them to turn around and go forward. You know, what happened in the past, that's, that's done. It's over with. You know, that's a done deal. Um, so now it's time to face forward and go towards things that um, make you happy. You know, whether it's you or the other person here. And to not let anything get in your way of your happiness. Three of Pentacles. There's work definitely involved here for some of you. Um, some of you have started um, business ventures that you feel very excited about. You see um, longevity there. You see um, this like growing into something massive, something that's going to be very abundant for you. Um, but this is also somebody no longer, this is about somebody, this is the thing. This person, I feel, whoever the emperor is, whether it's you or another individual, really and truly, they want to invest with you guys. They want to grow with you, or either this is you guys wanting to do this with someone. But there was something that happened in the past that somebody still focused on, something that they cannot like totally get over. Even though they know, they know they still want this, or you guys know you still want this. Um, but nevertheless, somebody here is focusing on um, something else like to do with their financial growth here. Okay. Knowing that, you know, they also want to grow with the other individual. But since something disappointed them before, um, it's like... They're really not trying to lend their emotions to anything that has to do with another individual or, you know, a love life or something like that. But definitely only wanting to be in situations where they can have an equal exchange and grow with someone. Even if it's just in a job at this point. Having that focus. Okay. Definitely very, there's some interest here. Um, somebody's showing some interest in working together. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's you, maybe it's them, mm, one of you. But this interest is like you, somebody's not sure. They have they have interest, but I feel like they don't really know if they can do it. They don't really know if they can be all in. Okay. But definitely, definitely, there's an interest in like working with someone, compromising here in the situation. Maybe it's the the Aries individual that you know. Maybe if they could see a little bit more effort coming from you guys, then they would you know step it up and become like this knight or even a king or you know or even turn around and face it as the emperor. You know, I don't know. But somebody is not really sure that, you know, they can really work with you guys to make something happen here. Okay. Um, I, I definitely get that there is um, 
I feel like you guys are optimistic about working with someone. Um, I think you know that it may take a little more convincing on your part. Okay. Where this individual is concerned. Yeah. This person, whoever this emperor is, I feel like um, they're willing to devote some time, but they're they're not willing to be all, be all in though. That's the thing. They don't want to like give all of themselves and and be that um, vulnerable here. Hmm. They definitely don't want to be all in and be that vulnerable. There's somebody here that uh, I, I feel definitely wants to spend some more time getting to know someone for sure. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Seven of Swords. Huh. Ha ha ha. Aquarius, this is your card. This is the only card that speaks Aquarius. <laughs> did you guys did, did you leave somebody? Did you leave somebody and you know you didn't do it in a way that that was like good and now you know kind of rethinking it and and thinking there was a little bit more that you could have done in this situation or you could have done it better even hmm that's what I'm getting here somebody has very little time to devote to this connection and um, one of you guys stepped out Gave up on it. Gave up on it. And I'm feeling that maybe either somebody left because they just wanted to be by themselves or this person left for somebody else. They chose someone else. Either they chose someone else or they chose themselves over this situation. Hmm. We have the two of cups on one side and we have the lovers on another side. So I'm feeling there was a choice between two people here. Somebody left going somewhere else and now wants to come back. Hmm. <laughs> oh, what a tangled web we weave. We first aspire to deceive. Who did this? Alright, let's see. Yeah. Four wands there. Mm. Mm. There was somebody here, or there is somebody here actually, that is not allowing themselves to see this relationship any longer and what I'm getting here is that it's an Aries individual um, that is not allowing themselves to see the potential in this relationship any longer It's, it's like they've given up on it. They're not allowing themselves to even explore the, the idea. Um, they have very little interest in it. I think this is like for them, it's, it's about um, working and about having togetherness like with something else. Because I'm, what I'm getting here is that they're they're not willing to lend any more energy to this situation because they feel like you guys left them for someone else or either they did this to you you guys know your own situations here i'm just reading i'm reading for aquarius but i'm just reading the energy that's present so however the situation goes for you then you know how to relate it, okay? We have the King of Cups there. And we have a Three of Cups. Hmm. I 
feel like this person I feel like this is an emotionally stable person they are um, and I feel like they just want to be happy at this point but but I'm getting that somebody here somebody here is kind of like just playing um, playing out there dating you know but there's actually somebody that they really they really want to be with here and I'm feeling like it is um, an Aries person that you guys are wanting to be with they may have Gemini in their chart they may have Capricorn in their chart um, Cancer okay maybe Libra as well and um, yeah Taurus Virgo Capricorn is here as well hmm somebody turn their back on this this two of cups here and now wants to come back but but whoever wants to come back I think there's a need to decide what it is that they really want um, whether it's to really to be single or whether it's to be in a relationship because I don't think whoever this person is is gonna have you know the three-party um, situation going on they're not going to allow themselves to be involved in that because they're very stable they're happy um, by themselves they they are emotionally stable and um, and they're growing they're growing okay so I think that if this is you guys who are you know you're out dating and um, you're having a good time doing that but you're thinking about someone else and committing to them possibly um, before you actually go back to that person I think there's a need for you guys to know solidly that this is where you want to be okay let's see Ooh. oh I've got several cards that flipped out here first one we have is honor your beauty Archangel Jophiel thank you Jophiel for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty somebody loves themselves okay Clear your vibes, Archangel Metatron. Thank you, Metatron, for clearing my energy field. There is definitely a need to get clear here, um, for sure. Shine your light, Archangel Uriel. Thank you, Uriel, for helping me to share my light with the world. And then we have love and accept yourself. Thank you, angels, for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance. Okay. And I definitely think that, you know, these cards are a message for the both of you guys, okay? To honor yourself, to honor the way you feel, to accept yourself, um, and not allow anyone else to determine whether or not um, you guys are happy, okay? If there is if there's something that you want, I think you need to clear your vibration, clear your energy, raise your vibration um, so that you can be clear on what it is that you actually want okay and go for it for sure all right guys so that's what i have for you and i will be speaking with you guys soon